Hi, my name's In Wills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Yeah. That Hello, hello, um, yeah, hi, um, this is a sort of like a, oh, I've got to remember to look at the lens, um, this is a, a different kind of video this week because I'm going for more of a personal blog and I do apologise if I keep having to look, look down because I've got everything written down here in note form just in case I forget. Introduction, introduction, so in this video I'm going to get a little bit personal, yeah, so if you're not into sort of like the personal type of things then switch off now and go and watch something else because I'm going to get a bit personal but I want to make it really really clear at this point is that I'm not saying any of this for sympathy or anything like that I'm not in, sh in the middle of the shot aren't I hang on <laughs> yes I'm not doing this for sympathy or anything like that I just want to share with you um, something that I'm dealing with and how I deal with it in a sense that hopefully you might find it helpful or you might be able to give me some ideas and um, strategies to employ Right, so you might have watched um, a while back a video that I first made with my Canon um, G7X camera that I bought. Um, you might have watched a video about me being at the dentist and in that video I talked about my face. Not as in how ugly it is but the face pain that I get. Now, um, this video sort of like takes that one step further and sort of like tells you um, what it actually is and also how I'm actually coping with it, um, so far and so on. So, first things I have to say is that we might get a little bit technical here, so just some definitions to start off with. So, the trigeminal nerve is a nerve that actually comes through from your skull, um, through a hole in your skull, and I f forgive me, I'm not a, a GP, but uh, I'm just sort of like telling you what I found out or what I've been told. So the trigeminal nerve comes in through the from inside the skull out through a hole in the skull, and it's accompanied by a blood vessel as well, and then it comes out and then it splits into three. If I could do it oh, like that, um, one goes up to the forehead, one arm sort of like comes to the top lip, and one comes down to the chin. Now, normally in everyday people this does nothing but give you sensation whether or not it's pleasurable or whether or not it's how that hurts and that's it however um, my trigeminal nerve has decided to do something a little bit different and what it's done is that every now and again it fires off with giving me intense pain or chronic pain in the side of my face. Um, this pain is known as neuralgia, um, which is because it's caused by nerve. So it's almost like an electric shock down the side of my face. Um, in my dentist video, I refer to it that it must, it, I saw like sense it's probably the very much the same as being tasered. Anyway, so what I have got and what I am um, living with at the moment is something called atypical facial neuralgia. Now, as any of you might know, um, I can't have anything normal at all. There is nothing normal in my life and hence the atypical facial neuralgia. Now, what this means, and I'm just reading um, it, is that every now and again, for no apparent reason, uh, my, my trigeminal nerve decides to fire off. And even when I'm talking to you now about it, I'm sort of like thinking, is it going to go? Is it going to go? It's not constant pain. It just fires off every now and again. And when it fires off, the pain can last for an hour, two hours, four days, a whole week, whatever. And then it just stops for some unknown reason. And what I wanted to talk to you about is what have I done to start to cope with this? What coping strategies um, do I have? Now, the first thing that I have to say to you is that I didn't get diagnosed with this last week uh, or last, uh, last month or anything like that. I've been to dentists, I've been to doctors, and I just went to the consultant for the final time um, after a whole year visiting them um, yesterday. And so this sort of like gave me the inspiration to do this video. Okay then, so basically, I have atypical facial neuralgia and the, my final choice yesterday was to try to cope with the pain or 
get the top row of my teeth removed which might have stopped the pain or might not so it's either cope with the pain with my teeth or cope with the pain without my teeth and you probably guess that i went with keeping my teeth i did have one out that took 45 minutes in the chair to get out which i nearly passed out um, after so anyway so yeah i have this pain it comes and goes so here's my strategies here are my coping strategies with it so first things first is positivity and this has been one of my new year's resolutions and um, to be more positive and uh, not only with this but in life in general and basically what i'm trying to do is be more positive in the sense that i'm not trying not to think about it over and over and over again i'm trying not to think is it going to go off is it going to find out is it going to do that i'm trying to think you know it's not hurting at the moment enjoy this time get on with life etc etc I also, when it does start to go off, I'm trying to think to myself, okay, cope with it, you know, it's going to stop, or hopefully it will stop, um, but it's going to stop again, and it might be that I have no more pain for the next six months. We really don't know. So being um, positive is really important, especially with somebody like me who suffers from anxiety and panic attacks and things like that. Um, so yeah, so even though I, I might get panic attacks over um, the pain, I don't want it to sort of like control my life, which brings me on to my second strategy, which is called my reaction. Now I've read a whole load of information about management of chronic pain, because that's what it's classed as. And one of the things that it talks about is that whenever you get chronic pain, you, you have a reaction and it's almost like that primeval flight or fight reaction and a lot of the time when the pain goes off I break out into a sweat my face pales and I go into panic mode straight away and what I'm trying to do at the moment is to not have that reaction and almost like thinking right take take some ibuprofen take some paracetamol and keep calm and carry on and try not to um, increase my blood pressure my anxiety and everything for when it happens um these this third thing is what call i call um distraction now i have to say at this point now whenever i um get the pain i only want to really do one thing and that is to lie on my bed and bury this side of my face because this is the side of the face it, it, it affects in a pillow and i would be quite happy just to stay there all day suffering in silence having a little cry now and again and thinking you know why did this happen to me you know and that's my immediate reaction and what i'm trying to do is change that what i'm trying to think is right no i'm still going to go through my routines i'm still going to go out i'm still going to go to work i'm still going to try to behave as normal as possible despite being in pain and because there's been quite a lot of research done on it and it's People have actually recorded that if you are distracted, the pain doesn't go away, but it lessens the intensity. And I think that is something that I need to try to work on. You know, so it's almost like, yeah, I'm in pain. However, I'm going to yeah, carry on. And the, the, the final thing that I'm really working on is... Uh, what I call problem solving. So I'm a real problem solving sort of guy. I have a very, what I consider to be a very logical, a very mathematical scientific brain. And I'm always trying to sort out cause and effect. And one thing that I'm having to deal with, which is actually for me very hard, is to accept that there's no cause for this. It's not a case that something is actually causing it that I can stop doing in order for it to go away that's that's not how it works there's no cause or effect here it could happen for any reason at all um i suffer from ibs as well and one of the things that my problem solving brain really helped me with was going through saying but right, eat this that gives you pain stop it eat this that doesn't give you pain you're fine and i could almost like eliminate things so i know things like nuts even peanut butter okay brings on my ibs so does oats and any sort of like green vegetable in any large amounts so i try to apply the same principle to my neuralgia pain and it doesn't work it really does not work and i was getting to the stage that i was almost like cutting things out is it stress is it work is it the cold is it typing? Is it blogging? Is it um, getting into the shower? And I must admit, getting into the shower, you probably think, this is stupid, Inwills. Why are you saying that? But 
I actually, when the pain first started, I was having a shower and I often, uh, my mind sort of like links those two together. And so every time I go for a shower, I, my first reaction is, is the pain going to go off? Even though there's literally no cause and effect there. So basically what I'm trying to do is say, so stop trying to analyze it or over analyze it. You can't do that. You just need to sit back, get on with life, be more positive, take some tablets to lessen it and then see what happens. So yeah, so I'm just reading what else I have to talk about. Um, I've talked about this. So the long and the short of it is that it looks like I'm going to have this for life. So, um, Yes, it might go away next week. It might never go away. I'm just having to live with it. So hopefully that gives you some insight to me and my face. I tend to almost like personalise it and talk about my face. Uh, I feel that it covers two bases then, both my lack of handsome attributes and my facial pain. Um, so yeah, so if you see me sort of like breaking out in a cold sweat, or twitching then you probably know that it's it's happening and so you could be more aware also if I, I tend to play with my face like this when it's bad um, mainly because I found that it almost like lessens the pain a bit you know I, I hopefully also it flexes the muscles on here to stop them sagging so much so yeah so I hope that gives you a bit of insight into the issues I have with my um, atypical facial neuralgia. And please, if you have any comments about this, anything that you uh, have found works for your pain, any strategies you can share, or if you have atypical facial neuralgia like me, then it would, uh, it would be great to actually um, chat in the comments below with anybody else who has this. Um, if you would like to see more content like this, then please do let me know. And also don't forget, you can subscribe and what means press that sub button press that follow button and yeah that would be absolutely fantastic you'll be supporting both the channel and my dream so until next time i'd just like to say to each and every one of you please remember to be who you are and say what you think because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind have fun and i'll catch you all later and until then see ya bye that was the worst ending ever.